Hey guys, Zoliax here, and welcome to a new Airlines Manager video. Uh, and this one, as requested by a viewer in YouTube, I'm doing a, a video on banks and loans. Uh, so yeah, let's get, a, let's get straight into it. Uh, first of all, if we go into the banks then, as you can see there are five different types of bank. Uh, on the left hand side you have your smaller loans but with a lower interest rate. Uh, all the way up to the right hand side where you have a higher interest rate and a higher available loan. Uh, the mini bank, mini bank is available to you straight from the beginning of the game. The other four are unlockable in the researches. So if we go into mini bank to start off with, you can see here there are two types of loan. The express loan is a pretty much basic loan where you just take out the amount of money you want to borrow and repay it back in monthly installments. Uh, so if we look at the moment the current interest rate is 2.3% and if I was to borrow the full 250 uh, million for the 25 weeks that would cost me 10.23 million each week for 25 weeks. Uh, the loan on financial markets are slightly different uh, you are able to borrow a bit more and the interest rate on this is affected by your rating. Now as you can see here I have a CC rating which is pretty bad but that's because I haven't really been doing many loans on the financial market on this account so I can't really show you what a, a high rating looks like. Um, now the key thing with uh, financial market loans is estimating your structural profit. Now I tend to stray around um, the idea that whatever you borrow about 10% of that will become weekly profit. That's also depending on what you do with that money. If you're taking out a loan to buy a brand new hub and you're not going to be buying very many aircraft with it then I would go for a lower amount. Uh, but if you're going to be using the full amount pretty much just to buy aircraft to fill the demand you've got on your routes, I'd say about 10% of what you borrow is roughly what you're going to get per week back in aircraft profit. So what this does is it asks you to estimate your structural profit and then in eight days after you've taken out the loan, that's eight days in game time, uh, the game will then look at what your structural profit is at that time. The closer you are to your estimated structural profit, the more your rating will increase. It doesn't really matter if you're slightly above or slightly below, it's just how close you are. Uh, I know there used to be an exploit where you could just put zero into your estimated structural profit, but that has been removed from the game now, so you can't use that exploit anymore. Uh, for those before somebody comments to say it's still there, it's not. Um, so, in this case, if I were to take out a loan at say of 500 million, uh, and going with if I was going to buy aircraft, I'd be going with the 10% rule. So, I'd increase my structural profit by 50 million. So, currently at 1.29 billion, so I'd probably adjust that to around you know 1.35 no I can't count yeah 1.35 billion I can count ish somewhere around that mark and say so it doesn't have you're never going to be bang perfect on this it's just a case of the closer you are the better you are because uh, if, if we come out of this I think I did have um, two loans I took out with this bank. As you can see I've got a red dot um, next to it. This was obviously really early in my time. So my estimated structural profit was 16.25 and I only achieved 14.14 million. So as you can see percentage wise that's that's quite far away really. Uh, you know, 2 million out of 14. You know that's that's quite substantial really. That's quite a big gap. Uh, eight point. Uh, sorry, the second loan on there, 4.1 was my estimated, 4.8 was achieved. 
So, you know, that's only 600,000 off, which is a lot closer percentage-wise. Uh, and obviously, having achieved structural profit higher than your estimated is good. I think it is ben more beneficial to be slightly over, uh, your estimate to be under your achieved. Um, but even if your achieved is slightly under your estimate, uh, it will still, you know, help your structural profit. Uh, so that's basically how the loans work. Uh, it is worth noting as well the interest rates uh, on each of these blanks do fluctuate. Uh, if I just um, minimize, if I minimize that and open up this, so this is the web-based version of 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 the game. Uh, as you can see here, there's a blue bar that indicates uh, what the interest rate is currently. So the game will randomly fluctuate the interest rates for each of these banks. Uh, so mini bank, the lowest it can be is 2%, and I believe the highest is 4%. Uh, for vulture bank, I believe the lowest is 4 and the highest is 8 uh, Sky credit, the lowest is 6 the highest is 10 uh, bank O, as you can see there, the highest is 15. I believe the lowest for this is possibly 10, maybe slightly lower. Uh, and the CBIB, the highest you can get is 18%. And the lowest there, probably the 14 mark. Uh, I know the scale goes down to 10, but I don't, I'm not 100% sure what it goes down to. But if you do have access to the computer and you can log in to the um, web-based version sometimes it might be worth just logging in to check how the interest rate is because especially when you come to taking out a one billion dollar loan uh, having an 18 percent interest rate over say 14 percent or whatever the lowest you can possibly get that's four percent difference is quite a substantial amount in repayments especially on, a, on a, an amount of one billion so uh, yeah, it's worth uh, worth checking that out if you can. Uh, if not, I think the numbers that I said there are accurate-ish. So you want to be looking towards the lower end of the scales uh, for those. So, uh, those of you who've watched lots of videos of mine will know that I do like a good spreadsheet. Uh, when I looked yesterday, the mini bank interest rate was 2%. So if we start at the top left here, we took out a $250 million loan. So the loan repayment with interest is $255 million. Uh, and I'm using an Illusion 96300 on a 24-hour route, and it was making me a daily flight profit of $1.8 million, which equates to a weekly profit of 12.6. Uh, as we saw, the weekly repayments uh, with a 2% interest rate, the weekly repayment was 10.2 uh, million. So as I said, I was using the Aleutian 96200, so a new aircraft is going to cost me 110. New routes, I've set the new route at 50 million because at the start of the game, or with a brand new hub, your first routes cost somewhere from 10 million upwards. Um, and obviously, by the time you get to you know nine, ten hubs, you're looking a hundred million, hundred and fifty million. So I thought I'd average it out somewhere in the middle, fifty million for a new route. Uh, for that, I've gone with three simulations. Uh, so two where we took out a loan, one where we didn't take out a loan. The first loan is an early repayment loan. So when I can, I repay the loan back early, and a standard repay where I repay the weekly installments as requested by the game for the full 25 weeks. Um, so yeah, uh, I started all three of these with one route and two aircraft. And to simplify things, I've said that each route can only house three aircraft for the um, demand to be fulfilled. Obviously, in-game 
the reality of that will be slightly different depending on a what aircraft you are buying and the route but obviously for this I've just gone with a simplest target I'm not going to go through all of these because we'll be here for hours uh, so as you can see the early repay and the standard repay methods start off at 300 million dollars so that's 50 million which the no loan has plus the 250 million loan so that's the starting uh, account balance for those two and the no loan with the 50 million on the left here I've just kept track of the early repay how much money I've got left outstanding on my uh, my loan so I'll just show you one of them uh, and then you can you know I've just copied rinsed and repeated it for every single one so after week one for this the uh, formula is the week above it so in this case 300 million uh, both loan uh, in the notes section both loans so early repay and standard repay buy two new aircraft and one new route so C8 which is the day before take away two new aircraft one new route I've added on four aircraft worth of weekly profit and I've also taken away a weekly installment of the loan so obviously for the standard repay it's each one has had the weekly installment removed every week uh, an early repay uh, in so at the end at week two so this is like a week ahead kind of thing of what I did at the end of last one so as you can see there I've got 110 million available I've repaid 100 million of that 50 million there 40 billion there and 14 million there so come week six I've now paid off all the loan uh, in the early repayment and the rest of this is now effectively like a no I've had no loan uh, outstanding on the right hand side though I've kept track of how many routes and how many aircraft each one has um, so after going through everything I've bought a route and aircraft wherever I possibly can uh, and then obviously added on the weekly profits for the amount of aircraft I have so if you look just on the right hand side you can see the early repayment it stays on the two routes and four aircraft for a long time obviously because every spare bit of cash we are getting we are paying back to the bank so by the time the uh, early repayment uh, has actually got enough money to buy an aircraft now that's paid off its loans the, uh, the standard repayment has got one more route and two more aircraft compared to it so we go through you know if you want to pause it and you can read all the notes here of who buys what of which mode buys what at each time uh, you can see I've tracked how many routes how many aircraft for each version uh, the standard repay comes out at the end with 11 routes and 30 aircraft uh, repaying the loan early comes out with 8 routes 24 aircraft and no loan at all comes out with 6 routes and 18 aircraft and if you just scroll down I've got that written down here with the weekly profit from aircraft as you can see the standard repayment comes out with an extra 75 million per week so if you're playing in tycoon mode that's every day of profit uh, so yeah two reasons why uh, if you do get a loan out uh, always just pay the minimum weekly installments do not repay it early because that that all that money that we use to repay off the loan we could have used to buy aircraft which in the long run just snowballs us quicker into making more money so the long and the short of it for this is yes you want to get loans out and no you do not want to repay them early uh, the other side of repaying it of not repaying it early is you pay the same amount of interest on your loan regardless of whether you pay it back early or not so you might as well make the most of it and spread it out throughout the full 25 weeks you know in the real world yes by paying back a loan early you will save yourself money on interest but in the game the interest is added on right at the start so it doesn't make a difference at all 
so yeah, uh, that's the long and the short of it then. So, final summary, get yourself some loans. Uh, if you can, do it on the financial market. Get yourself that triple A rating if you can uh, estimate your structural profit properly. Uh, the more loans you get out, the more aircraft you can buy, the more profit you can make, and the quicker you can do it. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I do try and get back to everybody who asks something. I don't think I've missed anyone so far, so uh, that's always a thumbs up. Uh, if you have liked the video, please do hit that like button. Uh, and if you haven't already, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well for any future content. Uh, hopefully I should have another video coming out uh, sometime in the near future uh, on uh, twin-engined long-haul aircraft. I think that's kind of the only category that I haven't really done a comparison video on yet. Uh, I will also do a video on the green aviation file uh, and how that works. Um, but I've got a lot more research I need to do onto that before I can make a video on it. But yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I hope to catch you again soon. Take care.